Hey guys, so uh, I did a little cut here in between the end of the game and before the epilogue. Uh, well, I'm cutting the video. This is me post the epilogue. It's fantastic. But uh, just today, we finally beat the, the Nether Brain. Let's get into talking to our friends and catching up in the epilogue. The invitation came. <gasps> Yay! by hell wasps and about to drive the killing blow on a magma claw cutting through the dreadful buzz of the wasps and the screams of the damned a familiar comforting voice echoed in your mind with us you oh shit did your attendance in Faerun to gather with your friends and allies those who stood against the absolute at your side a reprieve from the blood war a few hours of respite with the stars above and good company to cheer you. Kalak's heart can take the strain of leaving Avernus for a few short hours, but it might burst with joy to see those... How long's it been? Everyone's here! Lazelle's even here! Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning, where it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more. Thou shouldst take care to preserve. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. Yeah, <gasps> my owl bear! What do I have equipped? Devil crushers, hot pants. <laughs> Do I have a potion of animal speaking? It's good to see you. He looks coyly at the ground, suddenly shy. It's big, so no, he's so big. What have you been up to since we last met? He snaps the air and wiggles. He's either miming, fighting a many-limbed creature, or dancing. It's unclear. Battle bear. He's, however, exhausted. He's had plenty of adventures without you. I love him. You look tired. Let's say we find you a home. How about with Alson? The joy in the owlbear's eyes is clear. He longs to have a home, and Halsin is perfect. I love that. Good boy. It's good to meet again. Psionic projection is holding. Shadow Heart. I have not disconnected the controller. Keeping us all on tenterhook so you can make a dramatic entrance, is it? Where's the cord? Damn it. Fucking controller dying on me. Yeah, let's. Who do we get to talk to first? Let's start with Shadowheart. Starting to wonder if you'd show up. You look great! Are you joking? I've been counting down the days. Honestly? So have I. I'll come here, will you? It's been forever. Give her a hug. Yeah. Hugs are nice. Hmm. You feel a little more substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. Oh, 
I'll take that as a compliment. You look good too. I suppose I do, don't I? I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. Tell me what you've been up to. I found a little cottage. Abandoned. Half ruined. There's a lot of such places to be found thanks to the Absolute's armies. I've been making it my own. How are your parents? Healing. Learning to live again. It's hard to think of all that was robbed from them, but they're intent on making every day count for double. My mother's mind still drifts every now and again, but she has more good days than not. That's good. great! She taught me her recipe for apple and plum pie, and when I tasted it, I actually remembered it that's from when I was a That's so girl. good. Some things can't be taken from you, it seems. I'm glad you're happy. Father's making himself useful. Helping me fix up the cottage and caring for the animals. You should see the amount I have now. He's been waiting years for this. Now he can't stop smiling. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling. Family life and pastry recipes probably aren't the most interesting topics for such a... <laughs> Historic reunion. I think they're perfect, actually, personally. I'm just glad you're happy. As am I. And no small bit surprised, also. Part of me is afraid I'll wake up from the dream and find myself back in the wilds, or worse, at the cloister. But no. Real. You must been you must be wondering what I've been doing this past while. Must I? You presume a great deal. Ha ha joking. Of course I want to know. Tell me all. Okay, am I gonna You're polite to ask when I must reek of brimstone. Been carving my way through Avernus with Karlak. I'm glad you two have each other. Hells, I'd be almost tempted to come along if you'd have me. Perhaps if your adventures ever lead you out of Avernus permanently. Hopefully these meetups will become a regular occurrence. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but at least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort ourselves. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I see what y'all did there. Getting a group of friends regularly agree time and place to improve challenging oh, D and D things. Don't worry, we'll keep in touch. I'm sure we will, but let's be proactive about it all the same. We're more than capable. She's the player who's very excited to play every week. Bigger threats than wrangling together a few social calendars. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. Thanks, Shadowheart. Fucking love her. Jahira! Well, now. You can make yourself presentable when you have a mind to. I miss you too, Jahira. <laughs> oh, how nice to be understood again. I have spent the past months bickering with builders and bankers. All to restore the city exactly as it was. Same twisting alleys for purse pickers. Same wooden buildings ready to get burnt by next year's dragon. Same cisterns overflowing. Huh. It's a kip, but it's our kip. It wouldn't change a thing. Baldurian simply... Get on with it. <laughs> Stubbornness. Civic spirit. Plain stupidity. Perhaps all three. But nothing I will sniff at any longer. <laughs> Fucking love this. Harpers have come from half the world over to lend aid. Farmers, masons, healers. That's good. 
My own son Jor has been wooed to their rank. Really? Already he plans crop cycles in Worms Crossing. Not so for my daughter. Ryan's rejoined the Flaming Fist. Temporarily, you understand. To organize the craftsmen. Though she spends more time locking up comrades for pocketing aid funds. Hmm, that's bad. They might learn a thing or two if they don't expel her again. You must be proud of them. We know she has children, Kyra. We met them. I tried to steer them clear of my life's work, but they have chosen it for themselves. Oh, there is still much to do. People to house, a harbor network to rebuild. I may have little love for this city, but so long as my family chooses to serve it, I can do no less. For all your travels, I hope you have arrived where you want to be. Home. Whatever that means. I mean, I'm in Avernus. Garlic and I are each other's home in Wild Avernus. Garlic is lucky to have you. And know that you are not forgotten. If your friends don't drag you from the hells, it will only be because you freed yourself first. <laughs> but there will be more to discuss on that matter. First, I must inspect the refreshments. You'll never know. Some ne'er do well might have tampered with the wine. Supposed to be having music playing, but it's not. Mm. Where'd my boy go? <gasps> scratch! Scratch! Come here, puppy! Goodest boy! There's something strange in your old friend's mouth. What is it? What have you got there? What have you got there, Scratch? A familiar invitation. He wants you to throw the object he's dropped. <laughs> but it isn't a ball. It's the astral prism. Where in the hell did you find this boy? He whines. Let's talk. More throw. <laughs> I love him. I'm so glad Withers remembered to invite my favourite companion. Scratch barks merrily in something like agreement. Scratch, come here, boy. He's a good boy. He's a good little guy. He's a good little guy. He's a good little boy. He's a good boy. Love you, buddy. Halson! Ooh. You made it! <laughs> now the revelry can truly begin. Halson! You would think someone of my vintage would be inured to the passage of time. Yet these past six months have seemed endless without your company. But now our paths cross once more. The feelings considering we didn't really We were buds! The feelings of usual house and I've missed you. We have all pined for each other's company, I sense. I cannot imagine otherwise after what we shared. That bond was forged in a crucible that can never be stoked again, Oak Father willing. It is a bond that can weather any distance, any passage of time. I know it can, for I feel the longing for old friends in my heart each day. You sound like you need a hug. I always do. Should I ever decline, assume a doppelganger has taken my place. Hugs. Big beef man hug. Beef, 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 beef. <laughs> that was more than worth the wait. I'm sure there'll be more where that came from. Rest assured, 
My arms shall be ready. I'm glad that he didn't now, get butt hurt that we, we have much to catch rejected him. Do not allow me to ramble on. I am eager to hear all you've been doing. You first, Halson. I want to hear about the life you've made, the people you've helped. In that case, very well. Our community grows rapidly. In six months, we have turned what oh, he's, once he's taken over Moonrise into a true home for all. In another six months, I would wager the scars of the past will be entirely invisible, even to those who remember them. That's amazing, Halson. The old masonry of Moonrise Towers and Rythwin have been repurposed into new homes, and the land is rich with harvests and I'm really happy to hear that. Trees. Nature and civilization are in harmony. Stronger together. I recall you have quite a few young wards to care for. Nine wagons of them, wasn't it? Ah, uh, my greatest purpose and greatest reward. Those children have been through more than fate had any right to cast at them, and yet they go on as resilient as anything in nature. I impart what knowledge I can to them, yet, in truth, they teach me far more. The land we saved is theirs, and they will cherish it, I'm sure. Daniel and Oliver shall never want for friends again. Oh, I'm loving everything here. I'm glad you're happy, Hassan. As am I. I may age more slowly than most, but... I do believe I've gained some new laughter lines of late. That's good, man. Now, please, tell me all, and spare no details. I shall not lie. I have an ulterior motive in wishing to hear all. <laughs> it is the children, you see. My charges. Their appetite for bedtime tales is greater than I could ever have anticipated. Another story, Daddy Halson. Another is the chorus that greets me each nightfall. I have all but exhausted my repertoire in but a few short months. No mean feat given the lifetime I have lived. I desperately need new material, please. <laughs> my reputation is at stake. All right, let me see what I have. I am all ears. Though I never cared for that phrase. A rather unsettling image. A person being all ears. kept yourself busy. I expected no less in truth. I shall be able to keep the children enthralled for a few more nights yet, thanks to you. And should you wish to retell of your exploits in person, well, I shall not object to a night off. <laughs> now, it would be cruel of me to hoard you all to myself for the evening, as much as I would like to. I shall leave you to the others for now, unless there was anything else. I may have volunteered you for something if you'll forgive me. Might your new community have room for a well-behaved owlbear? <laughs> Do you truly even need to ask? Of course. Who could not open their home to a befeathered hero of Baldur's Gate? That's what I like to hear. Oh, and I did promise the children I would bring them back a surprise. Oh, imagine their faces. <laughs> What of the Grove? Do you stay in touch? On occasion, but I prefer not to interfere. Francesca of the High Forest is Archdruid now, and by all accounts, she has proven to be a steady and wise influence. Even Corga may yet find true balance, thanks to her influence. That's good! Do you see much of Thaniel and Oliver? <laughs> Quite often. They come and go as they please, but with so many playmates to avail of, they are far from strangers. They ask after you often. What you did for them will never be forgotten. I can see it in the land all around me. But more importantly, I see it in their faces whenever they visit. 
To make a child smile is to dabble with the power of gods as far as I'm concerned. I agree. Nothing lights my light up more lights my day up more than when I see my daughter give me a big old smile. Still partial to roaming in bear form, I take it. I spend half my days in Ursine form. The children demanded. I had a score of them taking turns riding upon my back just days ago. <sighs> I'm glad they are so comfortable with the Oak Father's creations. But they must learn that not all are as amiable as I am. A lesson for another time, though. They deserve some joy. They do. These kids have been through a lot. As for roaming, that impulse has dwindled, I must admit. Perhaps because I have found where I am meant to be. I'm happy to hear that. He deserved a home. May I have a hug? Just thinking the very same. I'm gonna hug him twice. Hug so nice, I did it twice. Good friend. Man, now I can't wait to get through the epilogue with like all of the characters I've made and like not beaten the game with because I was waiting to beat this playthrough first. I'm, I'm... Before you go, I have something for you. Just a little keepsake, really. Really? Do you remember how I told you I like to whittle? I made this. What'd you make me? Ducks are my oh, favorite. Yay! Ducks. I thought they were particularly fitting in this case. They are migratory birds, of course, traveling far and wide with the turn of the seasons. Yet, they always find their way back to where they belong. Just like old friends find themselves back in each other's company. That's fucking sweet. It's lovely. Thank you, Halsey. Just a token to remember me by. Now, I've taken up enough of your time. Go on. Enjoy the festivities. We can speak again later. Okay. Gail. <gasps> Tara! Is it an astral projection? Well, well. Look what the tress is. No, he's really here. Professor Gail Decarius of Blackstar. Hey, congratulations. Of the esteemed School of Illusion. Pleasure to remake your acquaintance. Hug. Big bear hug from Big Man. Quite lovely. I'm glad you're as pleased to see me as I am. You. Of course I am. I have to say, I'm quite grateful to just be Gale for the evening. <laughs> Good. I fear my students find me somewhat intimidating due to my uh, explosive former reputation. I seem to put the fear of the gods into them. <laughs> or the fear of Mistra, to be more specific. Yeah, you still on to good terms with her? I don't like that. The crown of Carthus to her, as I told you I would. And in return, she cured me of the orb at last. As long as you're happy, man. I struggled with the feelings into words. It was like exhaling for the first time after holding my breath for so very long. I'm gonna send him eventually. I'm terrified with my students that the orb is no longer a threat. The legend of my explosive capabilities is an excellent means of controlling a classroom. Too good, if anything. <laughs> I spend most of my time trying to convince them how much fun the study of magic can be. But it'd be easier to crack a smile on an intellect devourer than some of my pupils. Ah, uh, some kids are like that. Don't worry. I can say from experience, you're an excellent teacher. Ah. So you still remember our little lesson? Of course. Quite something to share such a moment with you. Though it vanished all too quickly. Teaching you was hardly an effort at all. It's not like my present cohort of apprentices. She's <laughs> just a teacher bitch about his age. Of course. And they can manage to stay awake. Call it perfect. Tara! Well 
replaced swipe from Tara can't fix, though. Tara. What of you? What are you making of this newfound lease of life we earned? The Vernus is interesting. I found the love of my life. I'd say I'm pretty happy. And I couldn't be happier for you. A fitting reward for the sacrifices you made in getting here. I've told my students plenty of tales about our escapades. You're something of a hero to them, you know? Aww. I'd be delighted to introduce you to my current cohort as a guest lecturer. I gotta go back to a Vernus man. I'm sure they'll have plenty of questions for you. <laughs> it would be my pleasure, if I can, outside of a Venice. Excellent. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist the allure of sharing your expertise. Of course, you'll be most welcome to stay with me in my tower. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, my apologies, Tara. That would be our tower. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love him. I love all of them. There's plenty of time to catch up on your adventures. I'm very curious to know what you've been up to these past months. But I suspect the telling of that tale would keep you tied to me all evening. So, in the spirit of selflessness, I encourage you to mix and mingle for now. With time enough to come. Good. Remember the last time I heard the ballad. Tara! Oh, right. You. Hello. Hi, you must be Tara. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yes, I'm certain it is. As for you, well, I've heard congratulations are in order. You helped Mr. Dakario save Baldur's Gate from the Absolute, isn't that right? If that's what he told you, who am I to argue? Well done. Despite my old friend's genius, He'd have blown himself up long ago if not for the help of friends like you and That's I. probably accurate. You ought to come visit myself and Gail, if you're able. If you can extract yourself from what I'm sure are very important responsibilities. I'd like that. Thanks for the invitation. We'll send word by pigeon when we've need of you. I used to have a taste for them, but a great many things have changed in recent months. Ta-ta. Darling. I like her. I want to talk to the bard and see if that gets the music going again. Because... I need music. <laughs> you see, Boo? I told you a friend was near. Oh, hello. Let me guess. You've got some suggestions about the music choice. You seem glum. I thought bards were meant to be full of pep and joy. <laughs> I find it hard to summon up the trademark pep these days. You have no idea who I am, do you? Withers might have set the stage a little. Go on then, what's your name? Milil. Though if the lack of song prayers is anything to go by, that name carries less weight than it used to. Oh, you're to. a god! Musical prayers were once offered to Milil, Lord of Song. A minor deity whose worship faded after offending the trickster god Cyric. I'm washed up, I'm afraid. I disagree. It is an honor to be serenaded by Milil, Lord of Sop. You... You know? <laughs> You're bloody right! It is an honor! Finally! The scribe picks an adventurer of substance, of culture! What can I do you for? I'd like you to change the song. Your wish is mine, etc. What song do you want? Fantastic. 
Fantastic idea. Yeah. Who the fuck are you? Ah, breathe deep pool. The smell of heroes sings from every stone in this place. Means uh, to meet again where your journey began, my friend. An honor. For Minsk and this hamster both. Oh, and for happy also. Happy? Uh, yes. Uh, honored, of course. It's good to see you, Minsk. Boo too, and happy? <laughs> see how your very presence snatches the breath from his chest? And it is no wonder. Just this day that Happy learned of your legend, while we gazed down upon the very city you saved. He dangled me from the high hall, upside down, <laughs> for two hours. Who the fuck is this guy? The guilt should not go creeping in high places if they do not have the stomach for them. <laughs> it is well for Happy the strange portal appeared when it did. Minsk's arm was growing aches. I'm glad you came. It's been too long, Minsk. That it has. Minsk once idled away a century in stone, but he and Boo have been busy in these months since we parted. Nine fingers forbade any looting of the Illithid's fleshy vessels, and so Minsk guards what remains of the battle site, even from her. But where Minsk might once have thrown any sneaking scoundrels from the tower top, now I tell them of you. How you ruled the wickedness within. How they might do the same. That's really awesome. Yes, yes, I'll rule it. I'll be better. Oh, of course. It is still for Boo to decide if they live or die. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> but enough, my friend. I cannot tell your tale if I do not know the whole of it. Minsk and Boo would know where you have been, what you have done. I fucking love this. I've been in the I've been in the hells with Karlak, fighting off devils and looking for a cure for her heart. Oh, Boo, you know what it would mean to find a cure for Karlak's heart? Exactly, her heart would be cured. Oh, when this day comes, you must come and bunk with Minsk and Boo. Fear not. We sleep in that sewer no longer. It is a different sewer. Much less damaged than it did. Now, Halfling, who will not have you embarrassing him in front of his friends. So you are to know the rest of the company you keep. Will Ravenguard, the Blade of Frontiers, Devil Horde, and Angel Hearted. Lazel of Cress Killer, true <laughs> child of Gith, and true friend to Boo. Though she will and say it is not so. <laughs> Astarian, who is banished by the sun itself for fear his Spanish soul might outshine it. Oh, you're so great. Fuck you, love you. He's down in the dark places, though he often moves his lair without remembering to tell me square. <laughs> the man who would be a god. But then thought better of it. Boo thinks better of him for it too. I she I kinda agree a little bit. Two gods tugged at her soul, but she managed to keep it all for herself in the end. Wait, Boo, did, did she do something with her hair? Hals! <laughs> Arch druid of Arche somewhere. He is a much better man than he smells. You got over your beef with Halsin! And there the champion of the hells herself. Karlak Demon's Bane. Devil's Bane. Merkel Ball and Bane. Bane. <laughs> once the guild is made of good means once more, who shall scratch the hells wide open and find a way to bring her back? And finally, Jahira. If this is a name you do not already know, then not even Boo can save you. Study them well, sneak thief. 
<laughs> the best among them will be a guide for your guild. Heroes who put the city before themselves. I think there's a glitch going on with the music. It's just not playing. Duty. And more than this, I don't care though. This is so great. Never arrive to a party without even a gift for the host. But wait. Go, my friend. Be among our friends. There is much work yet to be done before this one is fit to join you. I've a boo on his shoulder. Hey, babe. You having fun? Oh, shit. Oh, my gods. He wasn't kidding. Where is your mad bastard? You brought us back. <laughs> Commander Zuna won't know where the fuck we went. <laughs> to everyone. Look at them, the buttes. You're the butte. Rest up, soldier. My tin can will be all right for the night. And you and me will get to sleep with both eyes shut for the first time in six months. <sighs> then again, maybe we won't sleep at all. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Me too, my love. See you soon. Can I have a kiss? Come here, you goon. It's gonna do the full kissing animation. And we gotta go back to Avernus the next day. It's a little bittersweet, but at least he gets to be with Carlac. Yeah, this is gonna be a long. I'm gonna have to cut this into its own episode. Oh, hey, before you go. I've been thinking about those blueprints we found. Blueprints? Dariel's probably got a load of Cambians guarding that forge. I'm sure she knows I'll want in. She'll do anything to stop me from fixing this thing. I might have an in with one of the guards, though. An old acquaintance called Flo. Oh, I remember sure hearing about that. Us, but maybe. We might get to come home permanently. Maybe even sooner than we think. Fuck yeah! Larian, you mad lads! You Will! I was hoping you'd make your way over. Your relief, your projection holds. It took a dozen Gish's talents. Have you stolen Psychrist with what? your touch, taste, and talk? But your fleshy body. Uh, this is a glitch. God, should the gifts arrive. What's the word on the rebellion? I presume you've cracked open more Kithraki heads than you could possibly count. This is a glitch. I'm just gonna go through it. Ah, uh, diplomacy. Not so different from fighting, I find. You still grip your blade. I'm no stranger to it myself. A city is not rebuilt with the simple wave of a duke's hand. Bargains must be made. Coin must change hands. Tongues must be held in check. I don't like that that was a glitch. Still, I make the decisions I see fit. The ones I think will restore the city to glory. I serve only Baldur's Gate. That was Not a devil of the first hell. The city's changed a lot under your leadership, has it? I've had more than a few challenges, given the horns sprouting from my head. The people know me as one of the champions who saved their beloved city. They know Raven Guard blood flows through my veins. The patriarchs, the aristocracy, the councils of Waterdeep and Arm, their arms aren't so wide open. Still, there's no friction that can't be greased with a sly promise or a proposition. When we first arrived at the city, refugees were swarming the bridge. I understand things have changed. The jewel of the coast will shine ever bright. Welcoming the weak and the weary from wherever they hail. We are building new housing, not just shanties, but homes where families can rest their heads, plant gardens, pursue happiness. Amazing what can be done when Parliament and the Council pressure the upper city elites to open their coffers. <laughs> I'm sure the Silver Shields can make do without a few more jeweled crowns. Probably, yeah. What happened to Baldur Gate's Council of Four? Disbanded to be formed anew. 
I don't expect a soldier or street sweeper to see through the schemes of a tyrant like Gortash, but the city's lords and ladies were all too eager to abandon their oaths and bend the knee. Yeah, they really the were. The reporter is now Grand Duke of the Wilds, Sickle of Chunt. Okay. Floric is now Grand Duke Hey, of the good for her! The face of devotion. And I am Will Ravengard, Grand Duke of the Worm, Heart of the Gate. We will yet be four. Until such time and after, we will enact the will of the People's Parliament. Baldur's Gate is nothing without its citizens, both in the upper and I'm still a little peeved that I had that glitch. Duty is to them, and only them. And the Flaming Fist? Gortash sent them into his personal... Uh, I don't want to ask him of that. Of course. I don't suppose you ever miss Mazora. Never. The Hexes and Eldritch Blasts, losing them to getting used to. They left behind a cold abyss where fire once raged. That makes sense. So I stoked a new one. Now the burning comes from within me, not from the depths of the burning. Oh, did you change classes? Go on. The night's young. You shouldn't waste a moment of it. Or waste a single drop of wine, for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oops. Did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love you, Will. He's a ranger now. Okay. Why have I never put that together? That makes so much fucking sense. Eh, let's talk to Volo. Ah, my dear friend, it's been an age. Has I'm it still mad that Will didn't. That it was a skeletal friend will be very pleased to see I found my way here, despite my invitation getting lost in the post. <laughs> like, I'm really fucking annoyed at that actually that Will's my conversation with Will got fucked up. But I mean it didn't really fuck up anything, it just was the intro. And now I have spoilers for if I went with Lazel, I guess. <laughs> it's wonderful to see you, Vola. It's wonderful. It's wonderful to see you, Vodo. How have you been? Busy as ever. Better that than the reverse, wouldn't you say? Every major publishing house on the Sword Coast has been vying for my upcoming book on the subject of our adventures together. I wish he had actually been a party I member. Replicating your signature, so you needn't even bother with the release form. What the fuck, Vodo? That's so fucked up. You might help me with the title, though. I'm considering the hero and me. What do you think? <laughs> I love it, Volo. I knew you would. Perhaps once the manuscript is finished, you'd even be willing to write a foreword? Or better yet, I'll write a draft and you can just sign your name. Better still, I'll sign it for you. Ah, your success really has been wonderful for my reputation. But you mustn't let me hog your attention all night, my friend. He's just many friends. He's just more and I'd love to listen in. He's just um, some people are gonna fucking hate me for saying this. He's just a <gasps> She's got Clive! Carlex got Clive! She, and some of you are gonna hate me for saying this. She's a more interesting he's a more interesting, more fleshed out Jeff Skier. Astarian! Hello, darling. I wasn't sure our withered old friend could live up to his promise. But here we are. We are. And look at you. Straight from the hells. Still reeking of brimstone. I take it you've been having fun. Oh, yeah. Killing devil... Killing devils, causing chaos, I can't complain. <laughs> I'd expect nothing less from someone of your talents. You always brought a whiff of madness to the battlefield. <laughs> I do miss it. You're in a good mood? Have you been drinking? <laughs> Cheeky. I've been very well behaved. Thank you. I've taken a turn as an adventurer and hero. Really? It turns out no one actually cares about murder, as long as you murder the right people. And apparently I'm rather good at it. 
<laughs> Astarium, one of the good guys. Who would have thought? <laughs> Let's not get carried away, darling. I'm still me. Perhaps more me than I've ever been. So what's next for you? You're going to keep living the good life? <laughs> Hardly. Good people don't spend as much time lurking in the dark as I do. Oh, that's because you have to. It's funny. At first, I thought I was trapped by the shadows. Cursed to live in them forever. But in time, I realized that darkness is as much a part of me as my fangs. This is only a curse as long as I refuse to embrace the shadows. So, I decided I would. I decided not to be defined by the choices other people made. By what other people did to me. My past may be done, but my present, my future, they're mine. Good for you, man. This is who I am. In all my glory, for better and for worse. I'm glad to hear it. Acceptance looks good on you, Astarian. But that being said, I haven't completely given up on returning to the sun. If the opportunity presented itself, well, I wouldn't say no. But until then, I am happy. I'm glad you're quite the journey, you and I. From the moment I first threatened you, I knew <laughs> you were someone special. Someone to take on the world with. I will miss our time together. But then again, maybe this isn't goodbye. So much as it's, um... See you later, darling. I like him a lot. Where's Lazel? I think she's the only one I haven't talked to yet. La Lazel. My friend, the Hellswalker. My friend. For two months I trained the Knights of the Comet. Two more I skewed Kithraki bellies. And for two more yet, I traveled through Limbo. To see your face, it brings me even more pleasure than taking a Royal Inquisitor's head. Never change, Lazelle. It's good to see you, Lizelle. It's nice to hear it. It's taken a dozen gishes turns, a few stolen psi crystals, and two ten days of effort to conjure my projection. Worth it, I'd say. I miss this place. This... Uh, Fey run. <laughs> Your efforts to top of Lakith are well underway, then. We've spilled blood. We gained a foothold in the Astral. But still, we need allies. And one beyond reckoning has made itself known. Zerith Minyaragith. Zerith Minyaragith? What is that? Not a what, but a who. The immortal god-king of the Githzerai. An exile. Once king with mine, until the madness of civil war ripped our one sky. I knew about the Gitzerai, but like, I wonder why they've never been mentioned in this game. This makes sense. He's agreed to parley. It's fallen to me to secure an alliance. You've got this. You're the best choice for the job. Your tongue is as learned as your blade. My blade is keen as ever. But it was you who showed me that a proper victory doesn't always require a razor-sharp edge. Sometimes, a sincere plea is more persuasive than a dagger against the neck. Hey! Is, is, when your I'm, gift is an ascetic, he reached out in good faith. This is his way. It is in this spirit that I must meet him. Yeah. And if he refuses, I carry on. Gravity pulls me in but one direction. I am the comet. Holy I shit, you are the comet. I burn Vlacket's bones to ash and smash her phylactery to pieces. You gotta find it first. My people will be free. But you've heard that refrain before. Zealous, 
bossy, insistent. <laughs> All part and parcel of my undeniable charm. Um. So I did like how they mentioned, like, oh yeah, a persuasion works sometimes. Like, persuasion's important because Kylan persuaded the fuck out of a lot of people. So it is nice to see that, like, Lazel learned from Kylan and he kind of got to be a little bit of a mentor for her. He was just as good, if not better, in battle than she was, but he knew he didn't always need to bring out his weapons. Sometimes simply talking to people and even sometimes convincing them to kill themselves uh, was the better option. I like that. She's kind of turning into someone similar to Kylan, and I like it. Well, when will I see you again? Soon. When the comet has risen. When the Lich Queen has crumbled to dust. I miss this place. More to the point. I miss you. You're my friend. I'll be back one day. Over God himself couldn't keep me away. Uh, I wouldn't try to piss off Ao. Who did I miss? Did I miss anybody? No. Let's try talking to Will again. Cheers to you. Hmm. Just of grateful words. Better from art. Ah, oh, these are all... Do I have one from... I'm gonna scroll through this and you guys can... I'm reading really fast. I don't like reading out loud. So I'm gonna scroll and you guys can pause to read. They bought a house. The rewards are delicious. Thanks, Peter Withers. Even the chief deserves a night off. Those hands were who can see them. Let's do something. I'm going to take that letter. Elminster. Heart stamp letter. Nine fingers. Hope. I love this. Special guild letter. Oh, yeah, I read that. Valeria. Barrage. Oh! Oh, Blood Lady. I don't like her. Sebastian. Okay, this one I'm important to. We just can pluck wine from all over the world, but is there one bottle of fresh blood? Pass me present. I'm glad for it. For this. Floric. I like that. All the little letters. Is there more? Yuzuku Bear. It's in here. All of the clothing options. Nah, I like this outfit. It fits because we've been in the hells. 
Is that everybody? Let's talk to Carla again real quick. I think that was everybody. It's so good to be back, isn't it? Oh, it smells like... <clears throat> like home. I think that's it guys. This was really well done. Oh hey! Wither Withers has got his own little shop here! Or his own little setup. Withers. This one night is like any other, and yet different. Thou art the savior of Boulder's Gate. Until such time it requires a savior can get. How does thou feel? Ah, <sighs> I love this. I'm just glad to have a break from the hells. It's the little things. I am pleased to hear it. The satisfaction of one's intention is, to my surprise, a rare accomplishment. Enjoy the revelry of the day. Thou deservest at least that much. I think I've caught up with everyone. What comes next? What indeed? Prick up thy ears and listen. Ah, <sighs> this was so amazing. I'm so glad I didn't beat the game before this. The balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. Hear me, thou heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over. For now. Thou played thy part in weaving the fabric of fate itself. Such a good... But for every thread you sow, so did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, revel, but be ready. For thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all, problems worth solving. To the greatest friends I could dream of. To you. <laughs> Such a good fucking game. Oh, postcard scene. The dead three. Thy faces, gods. Thy actions, barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flares. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Damn, he's basically saying gods y'all bitches. Be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools. Everyone. The supplication <laughs> of pain. The whimper of Baal. <laughs> the Death mule of Merkel, felled by mortals. I yep. overestimated thee. They didn't. So if Withers really is Jurgle, Burning then he's the one who away. gave them their godhood. Thou wilt trouble us no more. Because how Bane, Ball, and Merkel all became gods is they were given godhood by Jurgle, who was just 
tired of being a god. And if Withers really is Jurgel, then he's just basically coming out of retirement and be like, all right, I'm taking my job back. <laughs> so amazing. <sighs> One last time. Oh, guys, such an amazing game. This is definitely now up there with my favorite games of all time. I don't know if it's for sure my absolute favorite game of all time, though, because there's still Dark Souls 3, Elden Ring, Dragon Age Origins, Nier Replicant. I definitely think it's in my top three games of all time. I'll have to sit on it and think, maybe replay Dragon Age Origins again, and decide between the two of them. That final boss was amazing. The epilogue was so great. Like, that was phenomenally well done. It was like the best parts of the Trespasser DLC of Dragon Age Inquisition, but just the ending of this game, and it was fantastic. And then, just the game in general. The characters were all phenomenal. The replayability is astounding. I loved the romance for Karlak, and I'm glad that they didn't just force you to let her die. Which is what I was afraid of. And that would have really impacted my opinion of the game, because that's why I chose the romance. I'm glad there was a way to save her. And then in the epilogue, a way to truly save her and come home. And I love that. Um, I loved all the characters. I feel like if I had to pick a least favorite of the main cast... It's probably a Starian, which I know is going to piss off a lot of people. And I don't even hate him, or dislike him even. In fact, I like him a lot, and that's a testament to the characters in this game. He feels like a more posh and sassy Zevran from Dragon Age Origins. I do like Zevran a little better as a character than a Starian, but I still love the Starian. My favorite character is either Halcyon or Karlak, for sure. I think in other playthroughs when I romance Halcyon, it'll determine that. I really like Shadowheart and Lazelle a lot too. Will and Gale. They're all kind of about the same level for how much I like them. And then Karlak and Halcyn are just a little above. And then Minsk. Minsk is right there too. I fucking love Minsk. And Jahira. These characters were great. The villains were really well done. I feel like Gortash was the only one that was kind of anticlimactic with this fight. Um, Orin's fight was great. Uh, they never really won up Gortash. Or not Gortash. Ketherick though until the final boss fight and Ansur. I think my favorite boss fights in the game are the Avatar of Merkel, the final boss including the Red Dragon, and I think Ansur might have been my favorite boss in the game. Either him or Ketherick slash Merkel. But I have a favorite moment for the game. It's probably the scene after you kill Gort Gortash with the whole interaction after you killing Gortash with Karlak was just phenomenal. But this game... Characters, 10 out of 10. Story, 10 out of 10. Music, 8 or 9 out of 10. Lots of bangers, but some that I'm like, eh, it's a little boring or repetitive. Uh, maps, everything, everything, just amazing. This game is, without a doubt, the quickest I can say 10 out of 10, with except maybe Dragon Age Origins. That might be the only game that I think is a little bit better. But I'll have to replay it to see for myself, which may be coming soon. But, yeah, guys, I just absolutely loved this game to death. And I can't wait to play it more. Like I said, I do have plans to do a Dark Urge run here on the channel, but I'll probably wait a little bit before I do that and probably focus more on some other content. Like I have the Pokemon Nuzlocke that I just started airing. Um, and I'm debating between either Dark Souls 3, Elden Ring, or Dragon Age Origins for my next main playthrough on the channel. And then come end... Uh, I thought about doing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but that's kind of a game I think I want to keep to myself, unless you guys really want me to play that on the channel. But... Um, Dragon's Dogma 2 I will be doing on the channel, but for now, this is the end of Baldur's Gate for us, guys. It's a little bittersweet, because I'm so happy to have beaten the game and experienced this amazing game with you guys, but... It's over, and I'm a little sad about that. But we won't be gone forever. I'm sure, I'm hoping at least there'll be some DLC eventually. Maybe something involving Avernus, or Vlakith, or the Underdark, Menzo Branson. I'd like any of those options. Can we be done with... Can, and I just gotta say this for the person in me who's played all three Boulder Skates. Can we be fucking done with Ball, please? Can we really... Can we please... 
Move on from Ball. I'm tired of Ball. I'm sick of him. <laughs> I did like his presence in this game, and I'm sure uh, in Dark Urge there's going to be a lot more of it, just from what I've seen in this playthrough referencing that. But And I liked Orin a lot as a villain, but... And I'm sure it's d well done, but I think after Boulder's Gate 3 they need to just wipe, stop with Ball. Focus on other villains for the next game, which I'm hoping there is one. Or more games in here. I would, I would kill for a Dragonlance game. I'd kill for a Mistara game, for those of you who played 2nd and 1st edition. I'd kill for more games just in the Sword Coast that aren't necessary. I'd kill for Neverwinter Nights 3! Or a Waterdeep video game, finally. But, as of right now, this is one of the best video games I've ever played. This is definitely the best game I have played in well over a decade. And I say that with full knowledge of The Witcher 3, Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, this game's better than all of them, hands down. Like, there's, it does, they don't even come close. I love this game. And I cannot wait to play more of it with you guys when I have the opportunity to. But for now, we're moving on to other projects. Overall, I give this game a 10 out of 10. I'm, I really appreciate all of you who stuck through and watched. I know I don't have a ton of subscribers and a ton of people who watch right now, but I do appreciate every single one of you. And if you have been watching my content and you really enjoy it, I'm just going to hit say, like and subscribe if you want to see more. It's great. But I really appreciate all of you. And I'm Cole Wolfrun, dressed as Kylan Wolfrun, your favorite, I'm your favorite buff dungeon master. And I'll see you guys on the next playthrough of whatever game we decide on. See you then.